creating radius and diameter dimensions. Uh, one is uh, diameter dimensions are to be placed on fully enclosed circles only. That's the only time you should represent a diameter dimension is if it's a complete circle. If it's an arc, then you must use the dimension radius style. Do not put a diameter on an arc. Again, a radius is sufficient for an arc. Uh, in this drawing here, we have a, a circle that we'd like to dimension using the dimension diameter command. Uh, so you can either type dim, D-I-M, diameter in the command box, or you can go to annotate to your icons and choose the diameter uh, button here. With that, it's just as simple as selecting the circle. So we select the circle here that's in question and we uh, produce a number automatically now when using the dim dimension diameter it produces its own center point as well uh, as you can see there's a small cross in the in the middle there are settings to uh, help make the cross a lot larger uh, through the dimension style but it does provide a cross for the circle all right now the placement of this thing is normally placed at a 30 45 or 60 degree angle all right so to to do this uh, we do the at symbol again I would like to do at least two units away from the object and an angle of 45 degrees and press enter alright so 45 degrees off the circle is at this particular point alright now to do a dimension radius again we go back to our icons and choose the radius option or you can type dim radius into the command bar and and it access the command that way this command is similar to the dim diameter whereas you have to click the actual arc uh, in the shape so what I'm going to do is zoom in on this end and select this arc as a part of the shape and as you can see the radius and the number appears now something about this radius is that uh, you can move your mouse around and you'll notice that this uh, another cross is provided plus this little part of a circle this is if you are in a situation where you have to identify some type of circle tangent to the two lines that help form that corner but uh, it's best that you have the actual arrow touching the arc itself um, in most cases it's best to have it touching the arc to avoid confusion and so basically I'm gonna click at this per perpendicular location and that uh, completes my uh, radius uh, dimensioning 